everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this little video all about the oil paintings I'm working on this week. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for your amazing comments on my last video. I have basically nothing planned for this video. Niente. Nada. Nothing. I thought when I got to sit down to film that I would have loads planned, but I don't. So I'm basically just going to show you all the paintings I've been working on. Essentially, I've just been so busy working on paintings I haven't thought of anything. So alas, it shall be just me rambling on about paintings. That's it, as usual. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with, oh, I have four. One of them is on a different type of panel. Three are on the same panel. Can it get more exciting? I don't think so. It's not possible. The first one I'm going to show you actually is a palace cat because I started this ages ago and I showed it on my channel and I wasn't entirely sure it looked good and I basically started it on a linen panel and then I thought maybe I should try it on a gesso panel and so I basically painted the same palace cat on two different surfaces. It wasn't really an experiment, I just thought maybe the other surface would work better. Anyway, I went back to painting on the linen one, the other one is finished and finally I have completed it. So I thought I'd show you all, of course, because that's the point of the video. <laughs> so here we go. This is a palace cat who's looking rather grumpy. I feel like palace cats always look grumpy though. I don't think they ever really smile, but they just look so cool. For some reason, I don't know if this is true. I mean, I may just be making it up, but they remind me so much of the cats in um, Alice in Wonderland, or rather the, the Cheshire cat. This is a grumpy looking cat in a forest and um, he is so dreamy and magical and he comes out at night at the midnight hour, so this is my story behind it, um, that during the day he would just hide in a cave but when it struck midnight all of a sudden he'd appear with his crown, uh, as you can see, with his crown uh, looking just so majestic and incredible and all the stars would shine for him so yes yeah, so all amazing things and of course this forest is just lit up by his presence. This is the next painting, this is a painting of a frog and once again I started this quite a while ago but I went back to it, sometimes I do that and um, I tend to finish it then. When I go back to a painting I've left for a little while, when I go back to it I tend to just suddenly finish it. It's quite incredible really and sometimes when I have a painting on the go for a long long time and it just goes nowhere and I just sit there for hours agonising over it and then other times I'll go back to a painting and then it's done within like two days. So yeah so this was finished again pretty quickly um, and this is him a frog king, as you can see, uh, taking a sip out of a rather delicious and very important, expensive, imported wine, probably, because I feel like frogs, they look so um, learned that they would know their wines. <laughs> Unlike me, I have absolutely no idea what the difference is between wines. I just drink what I'm given. So yeah, um, this is a frog who just loves fine wines, he wears a, an amazing cape, he is particularly erudite um, and looks down on others because as you could judge by his expression and he likes to sit on the bank and judge other frogs and judge other visitors to his uh, small pond. So yeah, so I do hope you like it and um, once again this forest is lit up, I have a squeaky chair, please do forgive. Next painting, this is the one in the thumbnail. Uh, again, this is a painting that I left aside for a very, very long time and I was looking through my paintings and I saw it and I thought, what happened to that painting? Why did I never finish it? I liked that painting. Actually this cat had a completely different face. I realised that the cat I had painted previously, it had kind of a narrow face and I just feel like it wasn't fluffy and squishy enough. This cat has got a new face, it's got a new fluffier face and here it is. So I actually really, the reason I picked it up again was I really like the colour scheme, sort of pink ethereal uh, look to it and it is definitely going to be a very ethereal looking cat. Definitely a wizard cat because it has a pink cape. Uh, it is decked in some very beautiful jewels and hanging around um, this incredible, very serene garden. And I just suddenly realised, which is really, really funny, um, this panel is actually um, 
upside down, <laughs> which does sometimes happen. And I always think it's really funny because whenever I send my paintings to buyers, I always wonder if they look at the back of the panel and think, she's painted this upside down, <laughs> which it doesn't make a difference to obviously, because the panel is the same upside down, but they probably think like, wow, that's a bit nutty. Why did she paint it upside down? But um, it's just because very often the panel will be there and I don't actually, I'm so excited to paint, I would just rip the panel over and just start painting and I never actually look at the back. So yeah, <laughs> that's the reason. Um, yeah, anyway, so here we go. And I did actually enjoy painting this crescent moon. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of painting crescent moons after years and years of arduous toil. I'm finally, I think I've done it. I think I've got it right, but you know, I always think that and then I go back to painting one and I don't know what I'm doing. Finally, last but not least, is a uh, deer painting. Uh, this is on a different type of panel and um, this has been some time in the making. And um, it doesn't look like I've done very much. I just realised, like, now I'm looking at it in the viewfinder thingy, um, it looks like I've hardly done anything. But <laughs> I've actually been working on this for several days. Several days. It is that long. A process. But yeah, so this is a deer, it's a beautiful fawn. I found a, uh, a copyright free image of a really, just such a sweet and elegant looking fawn. I, I find fawns, deers are fascinating. They're so quiet and peaceful looking. They just make me feel uh, like I am in a mystical world whenever I see them, like they come out of a mystical world always. And I just really like painting them because of that. And I think they just work so beautifully in really mysterious looking landscape. So yeah, so I do hope you like this painting and this will be done probably ages from now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. This was a very uneventful video. I did not have any question and answers, which it's gonna happen, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be fun question and answers, there's gonna be fun film reviews, lots of things in the future. It's just, I was so, once again, overwhelmed with all the art that I had to complete and I just haven't had time. Time is just disappearing. And of course, one can make time. You know, one can make paintings, one can make time. It's all just a question of consulting Einstein, which I have him on speed dial. So, in conclusion, I would just like to say, <laughs> and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back <laughs> and take care.